Welcome back to Gaming Even. We're playing Limbo. Uh, we're Mitch and Chris, and Chris is a bimbo. It rhymes, so it's true. A lot of that sound forced, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Really? We are Mitch and Chris. Chris and we are this playing. is the Blimbo game that we are playing now. We are robots <laughs> from the future <laughs> who like off. to play video games. <laughs> We've come back in time to play your video games and gain your culture. Yeah. That could be a movie. Robots come back in time to play video games. No, no, it couldn't be. That would be a very boring Terminator movie. 2. Arnold plays GameCube. <laughs> double Dash. Double. He just gets hooked on Double yeah. Dash. And he was he was in last, but he was in first, so he's like, I would be back. <laughs> oh, wormy worm. Wormy and then worm. Terminator Three, he plays Double Dash, and that hot robot chick wants to play with him, but he she keeps fucking up, and he doesn't <laughs> know what to say because he doesn't want to hurt her feelings. That's the entire plot of the movie. Yeah, I do not want to hurt her robot feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that in like a Swedish sexual pig voice? <laughs> Welcome back to gaming, Ethan. I I don't know if you know this about me, but whenever I do an accent, it either comes out completely wrong or like Forrest Gump. I Those are the two I think options. that's called sucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just sucked it. Why does it? Co yeah, that's true. Why does it happen as? How does it happen as Forrest Gump? I don't know. I was traveling through Europe. Yeah. And this is actually true. This story. is gonna be good. Uh, we would always try to do accents of like German. Because people liked Germans wherever we were. And so you decided to speak English and German? Y y well, we would speak with German accents, but I would always, like, end up talking like Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> like, people would just look at me weird. And I was traveling with my other friend, Chris, and he, uh, he just would be like, stop talking. <laughs> and, oh, you jumped over the box again. What? what the fuck are you doing? Oh. I've been paying attention to your riveting story. Yeah. I'm afraid. But anyway, there was a lot of... I would start talking, and then, especially when I was drinking, I'd give up, and I'd just go, Jenny, Jenny. <laughs> See, I'm not even good at Forrest Gump, but that's, the, like, the closest. I thing. just imagine you just walking, like, the streets of, I don't know, Ireland, and you're just like, oh, look, I found a penny. <laughs> Jenny. But Jenny, I found a penny. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the Italian pasta shop and get some penny. In, I in do British, Ireland, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. In Ireland with Forrest Gump You've and obviously also did. British accents. Yeah. Variety show. You're like in the spokes. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. I think the reason I jump over the box so much is because I incessantly press A. Nice. I like those wormy guys. They're my friends. Those snaky things. Yeah. I like snakes, not worms, I guess would be the moral of the story. Brain snakes. Brain snakes. Brain snake. What's it called if you try to... Brain, that go brain slug? Oh yeah, brain slug. You had a brain slug and it was eaten by a brain snake. <laughs> I like um, when they have the brain slug party. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like a political party. Okay, I gotta do something. Gotta or the hypnotoad party. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it, when hypnotoad wins the pet. Hey, it's hypnotoad! <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, hey. <laughs> I love that noise. I wonder what that noise is made of. Like, you know, like I like watching like, um, stuff about movies where it's like oh yeah that was it w oh shit i gotta like let him go get it um where it's like oh yeah the um this the dinosaur in jurassic park is like a mixture of a dolphin and a blanky blank <laughs> and so on and, like that interests me a blanky blank yeah. educate me on what animal a blanky blank is you know the, the blanky blanky uh animal that lives on the blanky blanky tree <laughs> and exists probably in this game in fact that's a blanky blanky right there <laughs> oh it eats predominantly white things that I can't seem to catch him in time. That was two sentences I intended to make separate sentences. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody! Yeah, Shit. well, if you were writing an essay, you would have used a semicolon there. And Didn't I, I play last time? Aren't you supposed to be playing? Yeah. Okay. Um, Maybe we'll get things done that way. Yeah, you would have <laughs> used a semicolon in that essay, and I would have marked it, and I would have told you that uh, you used that semicolon incorrectly. That's how that sentence would have gotten marked. That sentence you just said, I would have put, like, a little sticker. That said, fuck you. <laughs> Man, this dog is just... He's a blanky blank. He's Get blanky it right. Blank. He's hypnotoed blanky blank. I like him. He's ha! He's like, come here, fucker. He's like, hee 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 I'm gonna rip your little tail is, off. Is he supposed to be like... He's like half dog, half... Is he supposed oh. to be a pug? Oh. I, I know. He's gonna help us. You just do this. Oh. And then... Oh, everything in this world is gerbil powered, I guess. It's not what it's called. <laughs> Been over this. I'm glad. Oh, he, he oh. made it. That makes ter perfect sense. He made it rain. 
this is this is what those those gentlemen have always been talking about in those those new new music videos. Those new fangled talkie boxes. <laughs> what? You know the magic picture show. <laughs> what? You like that old those old Muppets who <laughs> sit in the yeah. the box. And yeah. Okay. I I'm not very good at like insulting people on the fly, <laughs> so I would make a joke about that, but I I will fail. <laughs> It will not be good. Uh, oh, I didn't make the jump. I think you gotta move that thing over before you fill the little ravine there. I think uh, I put that together already. Awesome, glad you announced it and didn't look like an idiot. Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't have people thinking you're smarter than me. <laughs> that, that would be a shame, wouldn't it? Yeah, because then maybe you would have some self-confidence and make I, a new friends. We friend can't have, have that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you'll find new friends. And then I'll have no one to talk to. <laughs> and it's sad again. <laughs> Why isn't the rain filling that ravine? Why don't you just wait for well, like... It's not raining that hard. It's raining enough. Can't you see? It's Can't raining enough. Tell? It's raining enough for rain to have matter. <laughs> Still. Why doesn't this video game perfectly portray everything? Why in isn't this, this, in this 2D, monochrome world? two colored game more detailed? I do like this game though. It, it is enjoyable. If it, even though it's like bleak, we're trying to make jokes over like mm -hmm. the bleakest game in the world. Have you ever? Do you have like any really good drinking stories? Um, drink a lot. Drank a lot. Uh, cool story, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> actually, I got a drinking story that doesn't involve me so much, but uh, I uh, was living with a couple of my buddies. Was I one of those buddies? Um, I don't know if you were still living there at that point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, yeah, we had a party. And a mutual friend of ours, me and Chris, this is Kay, uh, invited. Chris and I? Chris don't <laughs> say no, you weren't there, because I was there. Ugh. Your uh, joke won't work here. Yeah. You have no power here. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this box? Well, obviously. Oh, I think I get it. I get it. Obviously, I'll explain. <laughs> but you say it first so I can. <laughs> I think I put it here, then I do the lever. Oh, dude, that's a Lego. <laughs> oh, it is. Back to your drinking uh, story. Yeah. Uh, mutual friend's girlfriend invited uh, a guy that none of us knew. And he obviously hadn't, didn't have very much drinking experience. And we, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, sh I'm gonna, am I going to die? Yeah. Yeah. So what am I supposed to do there? Um, oh, I, maybe I just jump right onto the box right away is that is that it maybe right. well, i don't see why they put that little slidey thing there. oh just okay slide it out first then start the crank and then float yep. up to safety um anyway he didn't have a lot of drinking experience and he ends up locking himself in the upstairs bathroom uh and throwing up a bunch which you know people do when they drink yeah you know, i'm not gonna blame him um yeah, you gotta put back a little bit yeah and he uh anyway he's throwing up in there and i'm just started dating this girl, so as the party went on, we ended up having some alone time in my bedroom, which is right next to that bathroom. But nothing sexual. No, nothing. No, no. I mean, we are two Christian men. Yes. Um, and I would never talk ill of a woman like that. Uh, she Unless she wasn't wearing her bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Those bonnetless whores. Um, <laughs> uh, ooh, spikes. This is going to be tricksy. Uh, Anyway, someone knocks on my door and it's like, Mitch, uh, your upstairs smells like shit. People are leaving your party. And I'm like, I don't care. But it did. It smelled like shit. Like, a lot of shit. So, we're trying to figure out where it's coming from. We realize the bathroom's locked and this guy's been throwing up forever. And, uh, knock on the door a few times. He doesn't answer. We try to open the door, but it's locked. And then so we break the door down. And, uh, guess who has produced feces all over himself in the bathroom but uh this this gentleman and uh he slept in it for the remainder of the night and we cleared everyone out of the upstairs am i supposed to be going down here i see okay so this guy was covered in shit and slept in his own shit all night yeah and then it ended with uh this guy's uh, our mutual friend's girlfriend um cleaning up all the poop because we didn't even know the guy and we like refused to clean up his shit yeah uh, i gotta be down oh crap i fucked this it up sucks to be right. that guy though yeah but he uh works at a swimming pool that i take my niece in the to. swimming pool too <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> that guy, guy just shits everywhere i gotta kill myself here i fucked up that's um, never the answer man. 
That's just not how we solve it. problems here, Mitch. And so I anyway, just kill myself. He works at the swimming pool, and I, every time I see him, we just lock eyes, <laughs> and he pretends he doesn't know who I am, and I pretend I don't know who he is. But we both know that he's the guy who dropped a deuce in his pants. Oh, dude, I have, I have a similar uh, relationship with it. I know a guy who, I went to his birthday party. We were not, not very good of friends, but we were in the same friend group. And this guy just, like... I remember he, he pooped his pants <laughs> while we were watching this scary movie as, like, sixth grade birthday party. Like, he actually pooped like, his pants. Like, we were all... This isn't an expression. No, we were, like, we were watching a scary movie. <laughs> and, by the way, this, by sixth grade standards, the Bionicle movie was scary. Oh, it was the Bionicle yeah. movie. Oh, and this, God. And like, the villain popped up, and he was all over his... <laughs> <laughs> and this guy just, like, looks over at us. And then his dad was, like, behind, because he was, like, supervising, he just looks over and just... <laughs> and so now, I, every time I, like, look at this guy, I'm like, I could out you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, everyone would know you pooped your yeah. pants at the Bionicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so I, it's nice to hold that power. Yeah. But I will abuse it. <laughs> one yeah. day. I'll just show up at his wedding drunk. <laughs> you shit your pants at the and Bionicle. Then, yeah, and then his fiance would be like, I have to go. And hold her, like... <laughs> face and run down the aisle <laughs> i can't be with a man <laughs> who can't control his bowels <laughs> okay so next time on gaming even we'll solve this puzzle and maybe more poop stories because yeah. that's the first time i've ever heard someone got so scared they actually <laughs> pooped their feces defecating even <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm.